Well, the why behind Winter's formula is this. First of all, we also need to know when. Because, you know, this is these, these things we learn in respiratory therapy school. What makes you the expert at the bedside is that you know when to pull from which tool at the appropriate time. So when we're talking about Winter's formula, you have to know when it's appropriate to be talking about it. And the answer to that question is, is anytime you're in the presence of, an, of a metabolic acidosis. So you have a patient who's in a metabolic uh, acidosis. You in your mind should say, okay, let me, let me, Winter's formula is appropriate here. Okay, now, when we look at these two scenarios, one of them is appropriate, one of them is not. So when we look at this, we say, okay, uh, 7.24, 33, and 12. Decreased bicarb, decreased CO2, decreased pH. This is a metabolic acidosis. Over here, we have an alkalotic pH a normal CO2, and an increased bicarb. Metabolic alkalosis, we're not thinking about Winter's formula in this scenario. This is not what we're doing. You're always going to be going when you have a metabolic acidosis.